Introduce my host. Uh, I'm just ready to say Hannah from <laughs> Mariana. How are you, Vinny? Mariana, Welcome, Frank, thank everyone. You. Thank, thank you for you joining so us. Thank you. And uh, so tonight we have somewhat of a different show. We do. We have a show that we've never done before. A very special show. And a very special show. Yes. And uh, I'll start off saying that I went to uh, a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a fundraiser. No, it was a wrestling match. A wrestling match. A wrestling match. Uh, in Long six, Island. Six, seven weeks ago in Long Island. Yep. And it was a tribute to uh, an actor, uh, Mario Tedesco, uh, that, that had passed away, you know, years ago. Mm -hmm. And I've um, acted with him. And also um, a fundraiser for a kid named Call. Mm hmm Okay. Yes. Which he's with us tonight. And um, when I seen this kid for the first time and I met kid's mother and, and father and father you know this kid and the parents just touched my heart mm -hmm. and they they did a fundraiser and um, when I went up into the uh, into the, the arena they, the yeah, ring the, box, the wrestling match yes the ring they gave me an introduction and the tickets that I had whoever wins half goes to the people the other half goes to you know the kid. I um, I didn't want them tickets. I I gave them to Hannah. Oh wow! And I figure if anybody can use those tickets, uh, it could be call more than anyone, anyone else in this audience. You know. Mm -hmm. And I felt so good doing that. And um, then when I found out, I don't want to get into it, you know, because I, I'm a little sensitive. And. Um, my big shot on the outside, <laughs> then on the inside, I'm a baby. He's a big softy. You know? <laughs> and uh, so when I found out the story mm -hmm. of Call, yes, uh, that really uh, it put a hurting on me. That's the only way that I could say it. It really did it put a hurting on me. It touched you. It impacted oh, you very it, it, deeply. It sure did. Yeah. It sure did. And uh, Call um, needed. And need so much help, and I don't know how the parents, as a parent, I don't know how they could how them putting up with and and dealing with this situation. God, do they have to be strong? Absolutely, they really do. Absolutely. And between that, meeting the kid, I I didn't tell them, but I went into the bathroom and I was. Ball of my eyes out. And uh, <clears throat> so there's a, a lot of things that this kid needs. And uh, one is a chair, mm -hmm. you know. And so I called this company called Otto Bach, B O C K. Mm -hmm. Otto Bach. And um, I'll find out about a special kind of a chair for the kid. And um, so we're working on that right now, and we um, I guess I'm, um, I, well, you know. I'm so, first of all, let me introduce yes. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah, her husband, Chris, Chris. and Cor. And this Please is Cor. Please give them a nice hand. <laughs> so, um, I, after, after meeting them and finding out that this kid needs a certain kind of a chair, and I was also doing, you know, I started a fundraiser. You did. You know, I started a fundraiser. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to really rest until I know this kid has everything that he needs. And uh, I've been on, I was with this company called Autobach that makes special chairs for the kid. 
And I know that Hannah could tell you, because this morning, when I was on the phone with this guy named Frank, mm -hmm. he says, Vinny, I better call you right back. I have Anna, Hannah on the phone. <laughs> and then, wow. And then he did. He called me back. And I'm sure Hannah could tell you. I've been on this guy's butt. <laughs> well, you're making things move fastly. Yeah, well, you know, I've been... Um, I, 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 I'm not laying down until... No, uh, you I know, know you're not. And I've been, I've been really working hard to see what I was able to do. Yeah. And, uh, and then I have a few people out there that are uh, uh, trying to, you know, starting a fundraiser and all that stuff. For them. And um, come to find out, you know, this chair, mm -hmm. I didn't have no idea what those things cost. Did you have any idea? Yeah. You did. Yeah. When he told me, like, I'm thinking, you know, a special kind of a chair. And there's nothing, it's not going to be like one of those mobile chairs where he, because I don't think the kid's going to be able to uh, operate it himself. No. So I figured it wouldn't be that much money. And when I found out that those chairs start at $8,000. Wow. Yeah, $8,000. Wow. Eight thousand. Well, I, must, I think I can make a chair for a little, for a little less than that. <laughs> but that's another story. So I've been working with this guy, and things are looking up, yeah. and we're, we're getting there. And, uh, and so on top of that, also a fundraiser that I started, and we're going to put this on Facebook, and I'm not going to rest until I know uh, we've gotten to where we want to get to. Hannah, why don't you say something? We got to sweet up. No, I just appreciate you um, having us on the show and helping us get Cole's story out there. It's been a, a long journey, a long five years. It hasn't always been easy, and uh, sometimes you do just need a little help. That's sometimes hard to admit as a parent, and you really did help us out. I talked to Frank. He said, Vinny's got a big heart. You know, mm -hmm. everything he's doing is coming from his heart. And that's, Who said that, Frank? Yeah. Frank. Yeah. And that, I mean, that's huge to have uh, all these, you know, with Jerry to meet you through him for doing something for us to help. Uh, it just means so much to us as a family You help us get things that as parents we could not provide for Cole. And then it's just, we feel so humbled and so blessed to, you know, have met all of you. So well, we you appreciate know, you it. You got me on your side. You got <laughs> yeah. me on your side. You know that. Yeah. And, uh, and you're going to have a lot more on your side too, very soon. Absolutely. And, uh, Once people see the show, I'm sure they're going to get inspired, yeah. and hopefully they'll help out too. That's what and, we're uh, hoping. And I've spoken to so many people, and uh, actually, you know, just to come to think about it, uh, somebody gave me a check today for uh, yeah, you give that. It's just it's for 150 dollars. And uh, but that's that's nothing compared I mean, to what's going to be coming in. But every little bit helps. Every yeah. little bit you counts. You know, I got I'm on sure on Facebook. You don't have to donate a hundred dollars, or fifty dollars, or twenty-five, or not even ten dollars. Every dollar helps. Every dollar. It and all if we adds got up. A lot of people send a dollar, and we'd be all right. <laughs> of course, you know? absolutely. Every and, little uh, bit counts. And I also have another little gift. For, uh, for Mr. For, Call. For Call. And um, I'd like to give that to him now. And Patrick, can you uh, surprise the kid with a gift? Come on up. This is my friend Patrick, very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hi, Patrick. so you've met um, you met everyone here, correct? That's Christopher, yeah. Hannah, Hi. Mariana, and Call. Show them what you have for the kids. Sweet teacher. I've had this in my house waiting to give it to someone special. Just turn on, press the button. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That is amazing. You can hit the strings, maybe. Go for it. Oh, that's, he has music therapy once a week, oh, so yeah. Oh, so this, this will be, perfect. this will be great. And will uh, love this. Can you see it? Do you have it? Um, thank you so that much. That is a button that you press that also makes music too? Actually, it just turns on and off. Yeah. It turns on and off? Yeah. Oh, it becomes an electric guitar without the amplifier. Patrick also plays the guitar in a group. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that was so nice of Patrick. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you so much. I know that he's going to love that. He will, and especially now knowing that he has musical therapy. Patrick, I can't tell you. I can't thank you enough. At least face the camera. Let everybody see that. That smile of yours. Yeah. And thank you so much. Thank you, Patrick. That is You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Oh, he's going to enjoy that. Yeah, he's going to love it. Yeah, he is. So, Hannah, Call is five years old. Yeah. He just turned can, five in, in, in March. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit more of the background of what this undetectable disease is that yeah. he's suffering from? So he was born in March of 2008 and everything, the pregnancy was normal. Everything was normal after the delivery. You know, all of his scores were good. His hearing test was good. And then when he was about a month old, things started to kind of go downhill. It started with breathing issues requiring surgery. Then it went to uh, vision that also required multiple surgeries. So the veins in his eyes were leaking and building up pressure. And if oh left my. untreated, they would uh, make his retina detach and he would go blind. So he's had multiple eye surgeries. Uh, he's almost completely blind in his right eye now. Okay. Then we found out around the same time that he had lost half his hearing. Since and then in yeah. December, he had lost half his hearing. Half his hearing. And now they consider it a severe loss, which we think he hears more than the test shows. So you right. take everything kind of with a grain of salt. Uh, in December of 2008, we found out he had infantile spasms, which is a rare seizure disorder. So he was hospitalized, and we had to learn to give him steroid injections in his leg. And he still has epilepsy. He suffers from epilepsy. He has seizures daily. He has what they call intractable epilepsy, which means it's pretty much resistant to treatment. So he has uh, multiple seizures, and then in February of 2009, they found out he had kidney disease as well. So the first year of his life, it was just one doctor's appointment after another. It was bad news every time he went to the doctor. And he gradually like got worse. It just got worse. So his development, of course, became delayed because it wasn't like he could just get down and play and roll. Like he was fighting all of these other things. I mean, if you can imagine. <sighs> Closing your eyes, plugging your ears, right. and then with his seizures, like having someone tap you every one to two seconds. That's what his first year of life was like. You know, he's come a long way. He's come a lot farther than than we originally had been told that mm -hmm. he would. Uh, we've gotten a prognosis that was pretty horrible that no parent wants to hear. Of course, you know, not. and they measure things in in a matter of years uh, because of the damage that's been done and the deterioration. We've been all over the country. Specialists all over. We've done the undiagnosed to seek disease other program. Treatment. Yep. Yeah, and we really just, they've found uh, one chromosome that's abnormal, but they don't know enough about it yet to determine if that's the cause. So they basically said, you're waiting for science now, to catch Frank up. Frank from Autobox oh. said yeah. that, what I understand. Is he going to have his people uh, diagnose the baby, right? Well, they can't diagnose him. That his people are going to come and measure him and get him the equipment that he needs. But right now we're without a diagnosis, and okay. so so you're just playing a waiting game. You are. Much. That's, what, that's what makes it kind of hard. Oh, is, you I know, can't you, even there's imagine. not like it's not like you can go read a book on this condition how to and how to treat it. Exactly yeah. what yeah. I had. You know, we've been advocating a lot for um, an undiagnosed disease registry. This is Cal's bill, HR 1591. Um, the Undiagnosed Disease Registry Network and Collaboration Act, and we've been trying to get that passed by the government. It would require the U.S. to have a registry for undiagnosed disease patients. Right. Um, they have one it's similar to the one they have for cancer patients, okay. but it would allow doctors and scientists, you know, to sit down. His doctors could type in his symptoms, and it could pull up a list for have, everyone. Have you come up, it's, come in yeah, contact with the, other individuals that yeah, have, have the, the same internet. symptoms? Okay. Well, through the internet, we've come up with a few that have had the same symptoms, but there's a lot. You, you don't think in this day and age people can be undiagnosed, but there's a lot of wow. undiagnosed people out there so we and especially that you didn't have any warning signs yeah. prior to everything starting yeah you don't we had no idea it was gonna happen that's how we put Cole out there really was our attempt as parents to try to find others that were similar to Cole and, and we've met a lot of amazing people that way and met a lot of other um, kids that were undiagnosed oh, and course. families you know that's how we met Heather Long. She's the one that um, spearheaded this bill after her son. He was also five and he passed away from oh. an undiagnosed. So um, it's, it's gotten shot down the last few times, but You're we're still me. still trying to get that passed because 
You know, we spend all of our time going all over the country to these doctors and specialists and just all these tests after tests and we and it must got, be difficult it, to do that, you know, one after the other, especially hard, traveling. Yeah. I can't. And insurance doesn't cover all these oh, guys out of right. network. And, but was, we finally, when we got his prognosis, we really realized that as parents, we've been fighting so hard to save his life. We really forgot to make sure he was living his life. We hadn't gone, hmm. you know, on family vacations because our vacations were spent all over the country. So uh, the prognosis itself uh, really allowed us to stop and focus less on the tests and more on each other as a family. Wow. So that's been able, our way of putting like the positive twist on it. You know, I don't, I don't mean to, I, I hope I'm choosing my words correctly. From what I, from, from what I heard from Emily, mm -hmm. and I think a little bit from me too, because of the condition that he's in now, He's happy. He's like, I'm uh, in a good mood. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's in a really yeah. good mood. Exactly. <laughs> He's exactly. happy. Yeah. You know, that uh, his lifespan, if I'm, and I didn't even hate to bring that up, mm -hmm. isn't very, it doesn't, it's not very long. No. Last April, they gave us um, two years based on the deterioration that's happening to the brain. Um, but again, he's undiagnosed. So I'm you gotta have the hope that anything, anything can happen. Absolutely. But based on tests and scans, um, yeah, doesn't look doesn't look real promising. And uh, so I, I I somewhat brought this to Frank's attention mm -hmm. from Orderbach, and I, that's why I'm trying to put a rush on his chair. Yeah. No, and, and Frank, uh, I talked to Frank today, and he said that we got someone coming next week to come get his measurements and see uh, what they can do. Well, I'm right. So. You know, I don't, I don't, I have yeah. yeah. And what type of chair is this? I don't uh, know necessarily. It's a different wheelchair. So the wheelchair that we have right now is on loan to us through a nonprofit. Because, oh, I because see. Because the chair that we had before, it was broken, and it was held together by zip ties, mm -hmm. and our your insurance will only cover a wheelchair I'm once every right. five years. Oh, my gosh. So, it also, the base looks like a stroller. We didn't want to send him to kindergarten in a stroller base, because you look kind of So, like he's going baby. to kindergarten? He's in kindergarten. You're he started kidding. kindergarten. He this year? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's All Is this a makeshift chair that you so made? This is, yeah, this was just a chair that the, comp, um, this Wayward Wheels, they're an awesome nonprofit in Vermont. They had it, and it's on loan to us as long as we need it. But it's okay. not made or custom to coal. Right. It was custom to the demo. So, yeah. it, you know, the sides cut in like they shouldn't, and it doesn't have the right support. His, these are too long, so his physical therapist tapes some blocks oh, together so his feet can reach. Right. So it's not really the right chair for coal, but it, it's When I was talking nothing. with Frank, I was Absolutely. figuring, you know, if I had to go through all of this, let's find out how much a chair costs. You know, right? I had no idea. Yeah. You know, and it's not a, he doesn't need a mobilized chair, something that he could operate, because mm -hmm. he's not capable of that. Yeah. You know? Come to find out that this, I thought the chair was like maybe $500, yeah. right. $1,000. Yeah. It started at $8,000. $8,000. Wow. But we're going to get. Yeah, yes, really we this, are. Very this pleasant. guy is. I'm right. not going to yes. let him rest. <laughs> no. I'm not going to let him rest until we get that chair. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to stay on everybody's butt. Uh, for, and then this is going on YouTube. And th that this set that I just gave you was just something I just got today. Yeah. You know. And uh, I'm putting something in it myself. It's right into the bank account. And. Uh, so every every little bit's gonna help. I'm telling Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crow. He's like, I'll hey, Crow. Huh? <laughs> and uh, Chris, you haven't said a word, Chris. I haven't said too much. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I mean everything that everyone, you know, any of the fundraisers, things like that, it just allows us to go out and do more with him. Um, of course. You know, cross more items off his the bucket list that Hannah. And, we created for him. And well, you were telling me before the show that this is your first time in the city, so you're actually yes. taking a little yep. trip out of this, out of visiting us. Yeah. As well, so yeah. And you all live up in Vermont. Right? Vermont. Vermont. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So any of these adventures are, they're good. You know, it gets him out of the house and, and we create memories. We get to go do something. Of course, and, you know, as a family. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. And as you Mark can see, he has a great time. Whatever. <laughs> <you know. laughs> 
What is a typical day like for, for you oh, three? Oh, varies. We don't have a typical day. Yeah, I think well, that's the right. hardest part, an atypical you know? day. Yeah. Um, now our schedule is he wakes up anywhere between five and seven, and my nephews are there, which they are one and two, and they simply adore him. Oh, wow. And that's so cool. we hang out, and now he gets on the school bus, and he goes, and he hangs out uh, at school. He has an awesome one-on-one -on -one there, and they do all the kindergarten stuff, plays with all his that friends. He gets all his therapies there. And he goes every day? Every, every day, Friday. yeah. Wow. He leaves wow. at about 10 to 9, and he comes home at about 10 to 4. Wow. Yeah, but he, he loves it. Every time he he gets home, they open the door, and he's sleeping, and within five minutes, it's like his little power nap on the bus ride home, and then he's up and he's ready to go again, so that's our typical now. I mean, we're trying to get control of the seizures. We do have to battle those every night, but pretty much he's at a good spot right now yeah, in his routine. He's not in any kind of physical pain, though, right? No. No, he's. That's what makes a lot of this really easy. It's not even percent on of the time. No. Yeah, he's yeah. on no. thirteen he's medications on a, a day. Wow. How many? Thirteen, and he takes them multiple times a day. I'm on nine. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen. And goodness. all of that adds up financially too. A lot I'm of sure. it adds up financially. Even things you don't think about, like toys or swings. You know, you can't just go to your local store and buy a toy for him off the shelf. It's not loud it enough or bright enough. Right. So you get these Will specialty he be able catalogs. To, uh, maybe enjoy this a little bit? Oh yeah, he'll love this. Like, His yeah. my nephew has a little plastic one and he likes he likes to scratch. Oh, so he'll so this will be great. I that was so nice of Patrick. Oh, I, I'm so excited about that. Mm -hmm. It was There's my I music therapist is gonna no. love it. <laughs> I hell like that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you'll love that. What a good boy. And the, the music therapy that you were talking about takes place also where he goes to school? We or actually is that get to separate? do that at home, which oh, is nice do. for us because it's really fun. Um, he has this awesome therapist, Joanne, and she comes and she sings and has all these instruments. And he mm. will sit there with his hearing aids in and he just loves it. And we just found out um, reggae is his music of choice. He really wow. likes to jam to reggae he music. Likes reggae. So. <laughs> So. And I just, I'd like everyone to know out there that if anyone would like to help, uh, there's yes. going to be on the screen uh, a website that they can go on to and uh, a P.O. box number and the bank and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, okay. And uh, and I'm, tonight's not the end of us, you know. I'm gonna, Absolutely I'm gonna, not. you're gonna, you're gonna think I'm related to you. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna hear from him calling. all the time. I'm gonna just keep calling, keep calling. <laughs> That's you know? bad. And, uh, I'm not gonna stop until, I'm not gonna stop until we're on top. Mm. You know? And, uh, I'm not giving up. And, uh, and believe you me, he's, he doesn't want to hear from me every day. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what he's going to say? Hey, let's, give the, let's give this guy the chance. Let's get over it. You know? but, uh, and you want to know something? What? Oh, we have something else coming our way. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, she's uh, the thing that she had last night at that seminar. Yeah. And one of the guys there, I uh, have been on the show before. He gave me this. Oh, well, listen, this is There's South Prince Hill. This is South, Sal, please. Sal. Thank you so much, Sal. Sal. Thank you. You're a good boy. Thank you. Can I look, Sal? Yeah, you can. So, do you, oh, well, do you know what it is? it is? Let's see. I what it have is. no idea. I have no idea. Oh, my gosh. What is it? It's a trip to Cancun. It's a what? It's some card. Oh, from John Landers. I know, yeah, of course. And what is it? It's a gift card for a trip to Cancun. Oh, okay, that's Cancun. great. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's what was it, a trip to Cancun? Trip yes, to it's Cancun. a gift It's a gift card that details all the... Hey, wait, wait, remember, you're going to Cancun, you're going to take me away. I'll do a fun right, we're family too. now, right? Don't so. leave me be, wait. <laughs> <laughs> can't cool. You just take the tour. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, well, that's great. There you go. That's, that's part of it. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, from John Landers. I know him very well. Oh man, thank you so much. That's crazy. Wow, this is really great. Oh, yeah. Surprises from all over the place. Yeah. Everybody well, has been really touched beginning. by your story. Yes. This is exactly. only the beginning. Well, one of his bucket list items is to swim in a warm ocean, and we don't have those in New England. You no, know? you don't. So, I'll cross the well, you know, I'm just happy that I'm able to do what I'm doing. 
And you know, I know quite a few people out there. And I got everybody now. Well, I got uh, the rest of this week is very busy, but and, but every morning, I had I do have a few hours on my of time of a few hours every morning, and I'm going to be reaching out to everybody. And then starting next week, Monday, everybody's going to hear from me. Right. And uh, so we're going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to do what's, what's, what needs to be done. And, uh, and you want to know something? God, God bless the two of you. How, mm -hmm. how you people are, you, you must have a lot of strength. You do. have to have a lot of strength. And I know what goes around comes around. I'm just happy to help out. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I do. We're gonna get, now I'm gonna get no. me going. <laughs> no, we're, we're really lucky to have a lot, all the support that, that we have. I mean, we wouldn't be as strong as we are if we didn't have such an awesome support yeah, system. Yes, and a lot of, lot of family, mm. a, lot a lot of friends, friends a lot of support. He makes it easier. He's happy. And you can tell how happy he is. Yeah. I mean, he's well, constantly I, smiling uh, and giggling. Uh, see, well, um, my uh, director of the show, he signals me to tell me how much more time we have. And he does it by giving me the finger. <laughs> Not the middle finger, just the finger. So you just you don't have that much more time left. But I just want to... Chris, thank you so much for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anna. Thank you so much for making the trip. Thank you. Because I know us. it was a long trip for you three. And, uh, Emily and uh, wait, I'm going to remember the name again. Allison. Yeah, Alice. 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 I'm getting there. Wherever you are, Alice. There she I'm getting is. there. Where is she? Cole's, there she is. Cole's grandmother. Okay. I'm getting there. And uh, so you will continue to hear from me. And uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. And for showing us how strong you three are. It's really remarkable to see a family that's that's so strong and so optimistic and hopeful. Thank and making you. trying to make a huge change overall. Thank you. Absolutely. If you guys need anything, you just call me. You just call me. Now when something is put into the bank, mm -hmm. would you know about it? Would do they tell you? Or yeah, just they usually send us growing. they send us a little thing every time there's oh, something. Oh, so made. somebody mm -hmm. gives something, you know that it's being mm -hmm. okay, oh, great. Okay. What's wrong? Well, that's the end of the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, that, that, well. A little donation to us in case he needs picks or anything for the guitar. So oh. 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 Oh.